when I was 46, I had severe asthma, joint pain, arthritis. I had all this metabolic dysfunction. I was told that this was normal part of aging. It's all bullshit. It's, it's not. It's not. There's, there's two bodies of research out there and one's not mainstream and that's the problem. When I was 46, I, I thought I was going to die of, a, of an asthma attack. My pop died of an asthma attack. This is why I'm so pissed at the system. When I was 16, my pop died of an asthma attack and people are dying now of asthma attacks. And it got to a stage in October 2017 where I'd be waking up just about every single night between one and two. Unbeknownst to me at the time, my cats were playing into that because they slept on the end of the bed near my feet. So this is how a day basically played out for me. I'd try and exercise in the morning be gasping for air, take my puff up, and I'd try and do a bit more exercise throughout the day. I'd be taking it again, and I was taking it way too much, and I knew I, all I was thinking about was my pop and how he died of an asthma attack and how I thought that it could happen to me. In October, I was waking up, as I said, between one and two most nights, gasping for hours a couple of times, and I thought that was it. I thought that was it. My wife got out of bed, she was, are you okay? And I'm trying to be brave, and <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. But I was terrified, terrified I was going to die like my pop. And I had joint pain, and I was tired, and I had allergies, I had all this metabolic dysfunction. And at the time, I had no idea there was a cure for this. There is a cure for this. We, we've got two bodies of research out there. One's not mainstream yet. That's the problem. And these researchers say it could take a generation. I'll be damned if I'm going to wait a generation. Are you? Do you want to wait? Anyway, I went to my classically tra trained doctor and, and that's the problem. He's, it's, it's, this research isn't mainstream yet. He doesn't know it. Not his fault. I said, I've got to do something. I don't want to end up like my pop. I don't want to die, I've got four kids, I've got a beautiful, amazing wife, I want to live. I don't want to be tired. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night gasping for air thinking, is this it? He probed me for questions and this is the best advice he could give me. I, have to, I had to move, sell up and move because the pollens in the air were driving this and I had to get rid of my cats. That was the advice. And I, I just remember sitting there, just pissed that this, I, I had to do this? I mean, what? I remember thinking of my pop and he just, I just had this big urge to go and search on the big search engine that is Google. So, over the next couple, that was on a Thursday afternoon. Saturday morning, I searched and I found this website called PubMed. And I, I had no clue what this was and it's where all the, the current top scientific minds release this new research that isn't mainstream. That is the problem. And I quickly found a cure for asthma. And I'm like, what the actual hell? Why doesn't my doctor know this? It was, it was really complicated, it was really complicated. I didn't really know much about it, so I had to reach out to a coach, I had to do more research. But here's what happened when I put this all together in January 2018. Under seven days, my asthma was gone. This would have saved my pop's life. All this metabolic dysfunction that, I, that was plagued me, that the system says it's just normal aging, isn't. You are missing out on so much life. 
This is my mission in life now in biohacking. Biohackers look to the current research. It's not what a lot of people think. It's about peak human performance. That's what biohacking is. Now, you might be here like I was, scratching your head, tired, no libido, you know, on HRT like I was and, you know, thinking I've got all this shit to fix. How do I fix it? And I want to be over here. I want to be building a legacy for my family and taking life on and living with big energy. How do I do that? I've got to fix all this shit? No. Here's, here's the beautiful thing. When you start your journey into biohacking, you jump clean over all that crap. It cures anxiety. I suffered from anxiety, panic attacks, all that crap performance anxiety, social anxiety. I had a shit memory. I couldn't, it took me forever to read books. Now it's just goes through, I go through books like, you know, you just, everything gets better. And you now after I got all this right, a year later I thought, well shit, I'm gonna write a book about this and tell everybody that wants to listen about how they can jump over this shit and take life on. And you know, I set out with a one goal to write a book and publish it on Amazon, and I did. And it was only because I got this right. I've got energy. I've got zest for life. This is my mission and calling in life. So you're not broken. The system has broke you, okay? Read my book and you'll understand why. And I give you the simple steps, okay, to get you to to the foundation where you'll have energy, where you'll have your performance hormones like DHEA and testosterone in the right, right direction. So grab my book now. It's out on Amazon. 2020 is just about here. You want to march, steam, roll into 2020 with big, enthusiastic energy. Don't miss out on this. Biohacking saves lives, but importantly, it gives you your zest for life back. Big, enthusiastic energy. Grab my book now on Amazon. Put it to the test and see how it will change your life. You'll be in a completely different mind and body fast. Grab my book on Amazon now.